Well, the latest production at the Fulton Theater intentionally reveals that sometimes it might be best if the show does not go on. I'll take you center stage to Lancaster for the murder mystery, The Play That Goes Wrong. Fine bottle, Perkins. What's the vintage? Flammable and corrosive, sir. We're having a blast with a whodunit that's side-splittingly funny. And it's just a treat. A show with intentional mishaps, misdealings, and just plain mayhem, The Play That Goes Wrong aims at Sherlock Holmes and halfway gets there. You can barely make out the trees. Well, it's totally different. It's new, and it's exciting, and it's new to the region. And it's the, one of the first times the play will be done outside of the Broadway. And knowing all of those things, I think that makes it great and makes it special. This is your father in this portrait here, is not? <laughs> yes, it is. In not only the comedy, but the physical comedy of this show, it's just super thrilling. No, 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 no. Full of Easter eggs of detective fiction, these actors, playing actors, who are playing characters of their own, battle against all odds to make it to the final curtain. If you just trust that and honor the intention of this incredibly ridiculous piece of theater, it's a surprise from beginning to end. The show has one goal, to entertain, and the cast has one piece of advice. Gene! Just have fun, laugh out loud. Don't look at the person next to you and say, oh, are they looking at me? Forget them. Have fun, relax, and just be yourself. Charles! Delicious. Excellent. Lovely. Well, performances of the play that goes wrong in the Fulton Theater in Lancaster run now through February 12th. For more information, visit our website, fox43.com.